Right, so a bit of an update on the uh, purple rusty chopper. Um, Taking quite a while to do some of the jobs, so getting rid of the gear selector, end up having to cut with a small um, Dremel, having to cut the nut off the bottom to get that off. That was just jammed on solid with rust. Um, same with the, the seat clamp bolt, I've had to cut that. Um, just as basically the nut had rounded and it wasn't going anywhere so that's off the seat post is loose but was were held now with these with the uh, the sissy bars stuck inside the frame so I've pumped a load of WD-40 in there um, one thing I did notice as I was going which you might be able to see just there is that this purple bracket on the back it's um, it's welding it's welds have broke on both sides so I'm gonna have to basically clean that up you can probably see a bit better there look it's just broke off the back it should be quite a way up there and it's moved so I'm gonna have to clean that and re-weld it so what I've been looking for is as you can see here where the WD-40 is has been sprayed on here and, and on the back you can see it's kind of still wet looking where the oil's penetrated same with, with down here is I've been trying to find a solution because I want to clear coat this the rust just to try and preserve it uh, I've been trying to find some way of, of getting rid of the oil residue or penetration that's in the in the paintwork so maybe you can see there it's dry there but then here's wet where the WD-40 is on it so I put a few questions out onto the forums trying to get answers and I had a lot of response and really um, glad and appreciate that different solutions petrol traffic film remover uh, panel wipes etc etc so what I've actually gone through is I bought a few um, different items so I bought engine degreaser brake cleaner clutch cleaner the degreaser for the engines not much uh, joy on it it just still basically stays as you can see on here still stays wet uh, and oily until you probably wash it off with soap and water but I've done here with the um, brake cleaner and that has actually done a fantastic job it has basically taken all the oil residue out of the rust and cleaned it up and the same goes for down here all this was wet with oil so it was there and it kind of came around this frame here so that's cleaned it up really well I haven't done here yet but I'm going to clean all this off I'll probably do this section once we've got the sissy bar out but um, yeah I, my recommendation would be uh, brake cleaner um, is a good way of removing any um, oily residues I'm not saying many people are going to have this where they're trying to get rid of it out of rust but it works well uh, for me for what I'm trying to do so what I'm going to do is pop you back on the stand um, and we'll have a look at maybe trying to get this see if this is freed up any if not, we'll move on to the next job because there's, there's quite a lot of parts, as you'll see, that were taken off down there that will need some sort of attention. Uh, the brake, calipers, etc. are seized, uh, the tyre wheels and that we need to look at, so um, plenty to be getting on with. So I'll get you on the stand and we'll get on with it. As I said earlier, this seat post, that sissy bar is absolutely well and truly welded in there. So I'm going to do first is I'm going to try and pop this uh, back bolt through get the seat away from the sissy bar see what that gives me I'll be honest I'm sort of making it up as I go along with this uh, just to see what we can do uh, but I just know that inside there even though I've, it's been soaking for about three or four days it's just jammed in and reading up online I think that's quite a common problem when they've been um, stood for this amount of time plus also as, you, as you're aware of this one, this one's spent 20 years in a hedge, so this is probably worse than most. But we'll see if we can get this seat out and remove the seat post as well. Um, that gets us a little bit further forward, and then we'll, we'll come back to the sissy bar and see what we can do with that. So I'm just going to rub a mallet and see if it'll go through, so it doesn't damage the threads.
hopefully you can see the difference there between what's been exposed and then what's been sat inside the frame which is still absolutely great condition um, yeah then we can at least get access to that and uh, we can find a new bolt I think I found them on eBay um, original ones second hand probably for about five six pounds so we're, we're okay with that like I say I've not yet fully worked out how I'm going to do this I've tried uh, tapping it with a mallet I'm not wanting to hit those because if I break the, the welds on there so I've basically been hitting it from the top of the sissy bar up and then down again with a mallet um, but I think we're going to be not quite sure how we're going to get around that and the same with the nuts and bolts on here I need to get this frame off really as you can see I need to get these two nuts and bolts out to take the pressure off this so then when I try welding it back in because it needs to go quite a way up there it needs to be up there um, I need to have the pressure off it so at worst I'll probably just have to disconnect the nuts and bolts and still leave this section on uh, but I really would like to get it apart to, to try and lightly service it so at least it's not jammed for future if anybody ever decided to do a, a full restoration um, so I'm going to have another attack at this um, I'll bring you back because I think that's going to be quite a, a an epic job uh, but I'll bring you back in a, in a short while once I've had a go at it Right, so I've had a go at that I'm going to have to take advice so if you want to comment me in the uh, below just let me know if you've ever had the same sort of problem that is literally stuck in there um, don't really want to start hitting the top of the system well too much even though I'm malleting it because if I end up deforming the top um, and I don't know if it's giving enough pressure there these one of them's a, I think it's gone slightly on one side but I can't see any clean metal um, on the joint so I'm sort of saying that they're still welded in so I've sort of stopped on that for a moment I've managed to get one of the screws off um, on the on the back but the other one is, is starting to uh, is it trying to undo it it's starting to rip the screw so what I'm going to do is cut the bolt off uh, the nut off the back because it's far easier for me to put a new nut on than it is to try and match these screws up so I'd rather try and preserve that uh, bolt or screw as you want to call it and then cut the uh, bolt off the back so uh, a lot of background noise so apologies we've got neighbours I think sanding um, we've got a neighbour down the road he does off-roading so I think he's working on one of his vehicles and a neighbour across the road has got a drainage issue so I think they've got a vehicle there at the moment doing some works but I'll probably drown them out with this so uh, let's get to Just to let you know what I've done, so the little multi-tool there, uh, with having a small uh, cutting disc on, basically cut, so you've got the bolt going through and the nut that's gone around it, so I've basically gone down the side and sliced a little uh, notch into the uh, nut, so then as I try and get it with some pliers it should either rip the, or you just send a screwdriver down the groove I've cut to break the piece of the uh, nut away, then as you turn it you should then be able to take the nut off. Um, and it still retains the bolt so you can just put a new nut on there so I'm a little bit loose on light here so uh, just get some lighting on the situation Got these little clip on lights that might help me a bit Also, the lights from the camera don't help much. But um, so what I'm going to do is try and part that nut out, and then uh, see if we can take it off. 
it doesn't help with everything being separated as well with this bracket having come off it's not really helping much because it doesn't when you hit it it doesn't really give much leverage against it And also with cutting it, it puts a bit of heat into the, the nut and it sometimes parts it as well by doing that. Apologies for that while I looked at the screen I found out you guys couldn't see what I was seeing. So I just lifted the bike up a bit. So bigger screwdriver, pliers, pliers on the back. Probably we can move that because I can see now. So I can't really keep my arm out of the way, but you can tell what I'm doing. I'm putting the big screwdriver on the back, pliers that side and then go in slowly there you go it's gone now I've got to the other side screwdriver that's it that's it she's gone so it has made quite a mess of the nut but We've retained the, the screw, which is the bit we needed. Hopefully. Don't want to leave. Managed to keep that bit. And you can see on there, you can see how I managed to cut through the nut just to kind of loosen it off but without damaging the threads on the bolt. And then it's released the bracket, which two welds have broke. And you might not be able to see from that distance, but just here. You can see some little nicks where the where it was welded, so basically that needs to go back up here. Whereas if I'd have left it mounted on, we're a good two and a half in two and a half no, two to three centimeters away, maybe an inch away. So that'll go up there like that. Um, I'll tack that back on once I've cleaned the oil off it to give it a good uh, mating surface. So I'm going to hold off on this for now. Probably going to clean the rest of the frame up with the brake cleaner um, just to get rid of any oil. That can then any, any surface rust. I'm going to basically remove the rough stuff, but I want to keep a rust um, coating on it so when it's lacquered, it, it basically looks like it's still been in the hedge, but um, it'll be fully rideable, which you know, because that's as I said, I've been saying that's what we're going to do. As I've gone through, I've noticed a couple of parts missing, so the chain is not salvageable, so I need to get a new chain. The chain guard is uh, was missing, so I found a reproduction one of those in bare metal. So what I'm going to do is get that, leave it outside because I want that to probably uh, age a little bit as well, go fully rusty. Then we can lacquer that. Try and it's never going to match the rust, but if it looks something like, and then like I say, we'll leave that soaking, come back to that. We've got plenty of overhaul of the parts, so I think that's the next thing we'll do. We we'll get some parts on the bench and we'll start trying to part those out. This is the front brake caliper, so sorry, rear brake caliper. It's got movement, the spring's okay, obviously, it's very crusty. Got brake blocks which are, are gone, but um, got some replacements. Allegedly, period correct, although they are smaller, so sometimes people think they've got the right thing, but uh, we'll have to have a look at that for later on. Got the front fender. Needs a little bit of repair in there, 
but we just knock that metal back into place. It's got the original uh, things that go around the fork on the front. Once again, moves okay, a little bit crusty. Um, now, I'm going to ask you guys again to just kind of put some comments in and let me know. But I can either try and machine these back, polish them back, make them shiny, or I'm just wondering whether to clean them, get rid of the, the worst of the crust and the bits of whatever these are, bits of muck and that, um, clean them out and then lacquer them, um, or just leave them rusty. I mean, they're not going to, they're not penetrated through its surface, it's taking some of the chrome off, so they're never going to go back to factory. But um, obviously, we're, we're going to lacquer or clear coat the frame. I just don't want to have too much shiny rust on it, but um, I'm open to ideas. So you guys hit me up with some ideas. I'm going to change all the, the jammed up parts there. These are going to go. Uh, we've got new brake adjusters um, and then the cable t uh, holders there. Uh, this is my box of bits that we've been taking off. So we've got all the bearings and the caps, etc., which we'll just clean up. Um, I've got to order some new cotter pins for the cranks because we bent that one getting out but I've seen those as well they're on order so like I say I think for now I'm going to just strip it down clean off the worst um, and then if you guys like I say tell me what you'd like to see and we'll uh, we'll do that I'll also say the same with the wheel um, it's never going to go back to new ever just due to the chrome that's gone off but I will need a good braking surface so my thing was maybe to buy all the rust off there to make a clean surface clean the, the ingrained dirt on there and then once again do I lacquer it, do I not I think it needs something like to protect it, stop getting any worse and then we'll overhaul the uh, three speed stirring me in the middle um, clean it, clean it up again same with this, maybe clean that up so we've got shiny on, on rust got a new tyre for it, I need a new inner tube which is on order um, so yeah, once again, comments as to what you'd like to see and we'll, uh, we'll get on with that.